Hey friends, I hope you can see and hear me. Um, we are trying to go live again. There's been a little bit of issue with going live. For me, the last couple of weeks, I've had some technical difficulties. So if it's not working on your end, if you could let us know in the comments and we'll try to figure it out. Um, but hopefully you can see and hear me. I'm so excited to bring, be bringing you live story time again today. And as I mentioned briefly, if you missed me the last two weeks, I'm so, so sorry. I was live on the events page. My computer was not working correctly, but I think we got it figured out. Good morning, Quinette. I'm so excited you're here to join me today. Um, so if you're just joining, there are a few things we'll need for story time. So if you have a shaker, I have my nice egg shaker from the library, but if you don't have one of those, that's totally fine. You could use a scarf. You could use a ball to just hold on to and shake. Good morning, Jack and Vaughn. Thank you for joining me. Um, you could also use, I have some whole cloves. You could use some uh, spices to shake. Um, or if you have a rattle at home, if you still have little babies at home, you can use a rattle as well. Good morning. I'm going to say good morning to some of my friends. Good morning, Addie. Good morning, Jovi. Good morning, Lenny. Thank you for joining us. My friends Margot and Remy are watching. Good morning. I'm so glad you're here. I have some really great books today. I'm so excited to share them with all my friends. Um, another quick programming announcement. Um, if you're not aware, we do do live story times both uh, Monday morning and Wednesday mornings at 1030. Monday morning, Miss Liz has an awesome story time at 1030. So check that out. Miss Brooke has pre-recorded story times at 1030 on Tuesdays and Thursdays as well. And then Miss Dawn is reading early chapter books to our friends on Friday mornings. So check those out if you haven't already. We have a lot of great options for our families. Good morning, Maverick. Thank you for joining me. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that um, we are doing curbside pickup at the library. So if you need to return books, you can return books. But if you also need new books, we are doing curbside pickup. You can request those through the online catalog. You can also give us a call. Unfortunately, our catalog is down today for maintenance. So if you're looking for something, I have to wait till tomorrow. But you can also call the Youth Services Desk and get a book bundle. We can pull books for you as well. Good morning, Indian Ivy. I'm so glad you're here. Good morning, Liara. I miss you so much. And good morning, Miss Rachel. My sister is watching as well. So I think we'll get started. If you'd like to say hello, please do. I love saying hello to my friends. I miss seeing your faces so much. Good morning, Lily. Thank you for being here. Um, but let's get started. So we're going to, going to sing our hello song first. So if you don't know our hello song or are not familiar, I'm going to teach it to you right now. We use American Sign Language. So I need you to make your hand flat like a pancake. And then we're going to touch our fuzzy eyebrow and push it away. That means hello. And then we're going to take our two pointer fingers and we're going to hug them together. For friends, that means friends. And we're going to take one finger and tap our wrist for time. And then we're going to touch our chin and push it away for say. Can you help me? Can you put that all together? All right, let's sing Hello, Friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job, friends. I bet you that was so wonderful. I wish I could hear you sing. Can we try that one more time? But this time, can we use our whisper voices? Can you whisper for me? Whisper, whisper. Very good. Let's try it. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello. Good job, friends! Excellent! All right, let's see if any other friends have joined us. 
Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, good morning, Booker and Ethan. Thank you for joining me. All right, I have another song to help us get ready. This is our open and shut them song. So can you open your hands and shut them? And open them and shut them. Very good. Can you clap them together? Excellent. Can you lay them in your lap? Lay them down in your lap? Very good. And now we're gonna creep them and crawl them. Creep them and crawl them right up to our chins and open your mouth really wide. Ah, uh, but do not let them in. Very good, friends. Can we sing open, shut them? Let's try it, okay? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Ah, but do not let them in. Very good, friends. Can we try that one more time? Let's try it, okay? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Ah, but do not let them in. Very good, friends. Do you feel ready for our first book? I think we're ready. I'm just going to say hello to any other friends who have joined us. Good morning, Mac. Thank you for joining us as well. All right, I think we're ready. We got some wiggles out. We're going to sing our first book or read our first book. And our first book today is called People Don't Fight People. Hmm. It's by Lisa Wheeler and it's illustrated by Molly Idol. People don't bite people. What do you think we should use our teeth to bite? Should we find out? Hmm. People don't bite people. <gasps> you see that? That looks like teeth. Do these look like teeth? I think so. People don't bite people by Lisa Wheeler, art by Molly Idol. It's good to bite a carrot. It's good to bite a steak. It's bad to bite your sister. She's not a piece of cake. I don't think your sister would taste very good. It's good to bite a biscuit. It's good to bite a plum. It's bad to bite, bite your brother. He's not a piece of gum. Cause people don't bite people. It's nasty and it's rude. A friend will never bite a friend. Biting is for food. Looks like they're biting gum. I think we can bite gum too. A dog may bite, a horse may bite. They're animals, you see. But we can choose to use our words. Please, we're people, you and me. Thank you. A friend might shout or take your toy or even pull your hair. But here's a tip. Just close your lip. You're not a grizzly bear. Oh, people don't bite people, no matter what their mood. A friend will never bite a friend. Biting is for food. Some people 
bite their bottom lip. Some chew their pony tails. Some people tell you, bite your tongue. Some people bite their nails. It's gross to bite the skin you're in, but worse to bite another. Do not attack. Go get a snack. It's bad to bite your mother. Oh, please don't bite your mother or any grown up. Yes, people don't bite people. It's no fun being chewed. A friend will never bite a friend. Biting is for food. A great white shark bites everything. A gray wolf bites a bone. But what you chew is up to you. Your chompers are your own. Whoop. You're not a shark. You're not a wolf. But sometimes you get mad. Let it go. Just say no. It's bad to bite your dad. Say it with me. Can you say it with me? People don't bite people. You're not a zombie, dude. A friend will never bite a friend. Biting is for food. Puppies bite and babies bite. They're much too young to know. But you grow bigger every day and know where teeth should go. You're on a roll, so take control. You'll handle it with style. Your teeth are meant for eating food and shining up your smile. Please, people don't bite people. It really isn't right. But if their head is gingerbread, hmm, go on and take a bite. The end. Was that kind of silly? I hope you don't bite your friends or your grown-ups. But if you make gingerbread cookies, you could sure eat those and give them a bite. All right. Good morning, Grant. Good morning, Donna. Thank you for joining us. Okay, before our next book, I have a fun song. It's about different parts of our body, but not our teeth. So we're going to sing about our toes. So can you point to your toes or touch your toes? I'm wiggling my toes right now. And then we're going to sing about our shoulders. Can you touch your shoulders? Our knees, our elbows, and our nose. We're gonna to touch all of those different parts of our body. This is called Everybody Knows I Love My Toes. Are you ready? Everybody knows I love my toes. Everybody knows I love my toes. I love my shoulders, my knees, my elbows, and my nose. But everybody knows I love my toes. Good job, friends. Can we sing that again? And if you would like to get some wiggles out, you could stand up and touch all those different parts of your body as we sing it, okay? Are you ready? Everybody knows I love my toes. Everybody knows I love my toes. I love my shoulders, my knees, my elbows, and my nose. But everybody knows I love my toes. Good job, friends. Excellent. Okay, do you think you're ready for another book? I hope so. This is one that I really enjoy, and I hope you'll enjoy it too. It is called Please, Mr. Panda by Steve Antony. Do you see Mr. Panda? Whoop. Do you see what he's holding there? He's holding a huge box of donuts. 
Do you like donuts? I love donuts. I love chocolate donuts with sprinkles. <gasps> Look at all those different donuts. And do you see? There's a little friend peeking. Hmm. You could choose a donut. Which one would you choose? There's so many different ones. Please, Mr. Panda by Steve Anthony. You can see there's Mr. Panda's foot. There's his donut hat. Hmm. Would you like a donut? Give me the pink one. Is that very nice? No, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Would you like a donut? I want the blue one and the yellow one. No, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Would you like a donut? No. Go away. Would you like a donut? I want them all. Then bring me some more. No. You cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Hmm, would anyone else like a donut? Would you like a donut? Maybe some of you have had donuts this morning. Huh. Hello, may I? Have a donut? Can you see our little friend? Please, Mr. Panda. You can have them all. Thank you very much. I love. Donuts. You're welcome. I do not like donuts. The end. And look, all the donuts are gone. I think the lever ate them all. Do you see Mr. Panda was going to share his donuts? He just wanted to, for his friends to say please. And then Mr. Lemur got them all. All right, friends, I hope you saw Mr. Panda had his donut hat on. And now we're gonna play a little game with hats. But in this game, I need help finding my kitty cat. So you, if you can see, we have all these different hats here. We have a purple hat and a black hat and a yellow hat and a blue hat and an orange hat. And I think my kitty cat is hiding under one of these. So could you help me find kitty cat? We're going to say, kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the? And we're going to choose a hat by its color. All right. Let's start with the black hat. Let's see if the kitty cat is there. Okay. Can you help me? Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the? Black hat. Should we look? Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> That's definitely an animal. But is that a kitty? What is that? You're right. It's a cow. Cows say moo. We better keep looking. 
Should we try the blue hat next? Let's do it. Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the blue hat? Let's try. One, two, three. Another animal. But it doesn't look like a kitty. What is that? A pig? Yeah, they go oink, 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 oink. Hmm, let's try again. Can we try the orange hat this time? Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the orange hat? One, two, three. That's an animal and it's teeny tiny, but it's a little bunny. Little bunny, can you wiggle your nose like a bunny? Two more hats left. Let's try the purple hat next. Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the purple hat? One, two, three. That's definitely an animal, but it's a horse. What do horses say? Do they say, nay? Hmm, one hat left a yellow construction helmet let's try it kitty cat kitty cat are you under the yellow hat one two three look what we found friends we found our kitty what do kitties say when they're happy do they purr or do they go meow Thank you for helping me find my kitty cat, friends. Okay, so now is the time if you have a shaker, can you grab that for me? So you can grab an egg shaker like me or a rattle would work fine or spices. You can shake those around. We're going to sing a couple shaker songs. So first, we're going to just shake our shaker back and forth. And we're gonna sing, can you shake along with me? So we'll shake our shaker and then we're gonna shake it on different body parts. So we're gonna do our knee and then our shoulder. And how about our head? Should we do that? All right, friends, let's try it, okay? Can you shake along with me, along with me, along with me? Can you shake along with me? Shake your shaker on your knee. Very good, friends. Let's try that again. Can you shake along with me, along with me, along with me? Can you shake along with me? Shake your shaker on your shoulder. Good job, friends. Can you shake along with me, along with me, along with me? Can you shake along with me? Shake your shaker on your head. Very good, friends. Should we do one more? Where's another place we can shake our shaker? We could do tummy or we could do nose. How about we try nose? Can we try it? Ready? Can you shake along with me, along with me, along with me? Can you shake along with me? Shake your shaker on your nose. Very good, friends. All right. Friends, I'm having trouble seeing my video, so I just want to make sure that you can still see me, and I'll just keep going. So can everybody still see me? Or if someone wants to let me know if they can still see me, that would be great. And then we'll just keep going. All right. So while we're waiting, we have another shaker song. It's called Egg Shakers Up. So we can put our egg shakers up. And we can put our egg shakers down. And then we're going to dance them all around the town. Okay. We'll dance them on our shoulder, and we'll dance them on our head, and we'll dance them on our knees, and we'll tuck them into bed. Oh, thank you, Miss Shelley. I'm glad you can still see me. I just can't see me, but that's fine. That's no problem. 
All right, so let's get our shakers ready. We're gonna do them up, down, all around the town, shoulder, knees, head, and bed. Okay, ready? Egg shakers up and egg shakers down and egg shakers dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulder and dance them on your head and dance them on your knee and tuck them into bed. Can we try that one more time, friends? Let's try that one more time. Egg shakers up and egg shakers down and egg shakers dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulder and dance them on your head and dance them on your knee and tuck them into bed. Very good, friends. All right. I shouldn't have clapped my shaker because it's sleepy. I'm going to put it down. <gasps> We're done with our shaker songs. I have one more book for you. I really love this book, and I can't see if it's in the camera, so I hope you can see it um, well enough because it's such a fun book. It's called Don't Push the Button. It's by Bill Cotter both written and illustrated. And this is my friend, Larry. He's a monster, but he's telling us, don't push the button. Do you think we'll push it? Let's find out. Don't push the button. Written and illustrated by Bill Cotter. Hi. My name is Larry. Welcome to my book. There's only one rule. Don't push the button. Seriously, don't even think about it. Hmm, it does look pretty nice though. I wonder what would happen if we pushed it. Uh-oh, do you think we're gonna push it? Let's find out. <gasps> no, we can't, we mustn't. No one is looking. Let's give the button one little push. Do you think I should do it? All right, let's try it. Push. <gasps> let's find out what happens. Ah! Now I'm yellow. <gasps> we have to push it again. Should I push it again? Push. <gasps> ah! No, I'm yellow and polka dot. Push it twice. All right, I'm gonna push it twice. One, two. <gasps> now there's two of me. Oh, push it a bunch of times. Do you think I should do it? All right. Uh oh. That's a lot of Larry's. Ugh, shake the book to get rid of all the extra Larry's. I'm going to shake it. Shake it. <sighs> Let's see if that worked. <gasps> Almost just a little 
bit more. Okay, there we go. It says here to scratch Larry's tummy to get him back to normal. We'll scratch his tummy. <laughs> that tickles. Okay, much better. Let's not push the button again. But that was kind of fun. Maybe just a couple more pushes. Do you think we should? I don't know, friends. Okay, a couple more pushes. Uh oh, the end. That was Don't Push the Button, written and illustrated by Bill Cotter. That's a really fun book. Larry is pretty silly. All right, friends, we are ready to say goodbye. I'm sorry another story time has come to a close so quickly. I'm so glad you were able to join me even though we're far apart. Uh, but before we go, can you help me sing our goodbye song? So we're gonna wave goodbye. Very good. And we're gonna hug our fingers together for friends and then tap our wrists for time and then touch our chin, push it away for say. Can we put that all together? Ready friends? Goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Good job, friends. All right, can we do that one more time with no voices? We're going to zip our lips shut, okay? Ready? Zip. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad I was able to bring story time to you today. Even with a few uh, technical glitches, I'm so glad you can still see me. I wish I could see you and your grown-ups, and I can't wait until we can see each other again at the library. I'm giving you a big squeeze. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Enjoy the sunshine, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye, friends.